Well, praise the Lord Most High, blessed be He. Father, open the hearts of your children, that your love spread over them, and overtake them, uh, that they, they, their love return to you in Jesus' name. Saved by the Word. What does the Word of God say about uh, entering into the kingdom of God? For this is uh, the ultimate result of salvation. Paul tells us this in Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Do you suppose he meant uh, to call on the, on the name of Jesus and uh, you're saved? In fact, there are many uh, places in the word of God which uh, say to call on, on him or believe uh, on him uh, such as, uh, as, as this. In John 3, uh, uh, 36, uh, he that uh, believes on the Son hath the everlasting life, and he that believes uh, not the Son shall not see life, but uh, the wrath of God abides in, uh, on him. Uh, now, seeing this does not make, uh, make you think uh, uh, you need only call upon his name, or better yet, uh, just believe he is, uh, he is the Son. Uh, let us ponder a, a little more on this. Uh, for for did for did John not tell us uh, tell us this? In John one one, in the beginning was the Word, and and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and uh, and the life was uh, the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness, that would be here on earth, and darkness comprehended it not. Uh, there was a man uh, sent from God, uh, whose name was John. The same came to, uh, for, for a witness, uh, to bear witness of the light, that, uh, that all men through him might be saved, that would be Jesus. And we know this man uh, was Jesus, for his, his light shined uh, for all men, to receive him as, as the Son of God. Likewise, even the devil knew him and, uh, and who he is. In Matthew 8, 29, And behold, uh, they cried out, saying, What have we to do with you, Jesus, uh, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? So what did Jesus, uh, the Son of God, say? In John 3, 1, uh, there, was a, there was a man uh, of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to, to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, uh, we know that you are, uh, are a teacher come from God, for no man can tell, tell these miracles uh, uh, that, that you do except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now, this is telling you how to do it. Nicodemus said unto him, uh, How can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Uh, not even Nicodemus uh, understood uh, what Jesus was telling him. Uh, what it meant uh, to be born again, uh, so Jesus made it, made it clear to him. In, uh, in John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, that means truly, truly, this is absolutely true. Okay, that's what that means. I say unto you, except a, a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now that is a statement that you have to understand. And you have to listen to that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of uh, spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I uh, said unto you, you must be born again. <coughs> now, understanding uh, what is uh, what he means uh, to be born again, or water and and spirit, herein is why uh, we need to be uh, uh, water baptized in in Jesus' name in the water. In Romans 6, 3, uh, know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that uh, 
like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we, we shall walk in newness of life. And then we are born again. Uh, we are born where the curse is gone. Uh, there, there's no more fleshly curse. Okay, so you're not in, you're not be judged by the law anymore. You'll be judged by His grace. For if we uh, have been planted together with the likeness of uh, of His death, we shall also uh, uh, in the likeness of His resurrection. Likewise, we are, are uh, uh, we we are in need of the infilling of the Holy Spirit. This gives us comfort and power uh, to tread on uh, Satan and all his devices. In Luke 24:49, and uh, and be and behold, I, I send the promise of the Father unto you, but tarry you in the city but of Jerusalem until you be endued with powers from on high. This, this same spirit that uh, came down from heaven as the dove and, and landed on Jesus as, as he came up out of the water, being baptized with water, uh, as Jesus told, uh, told John. In Matthew uh, 3.15, and Jesus answered, uh, and, uh, answered John, uh, said, said and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now. Uh, for thus it becomes us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him and, and was baptized. Jesus was filled and showed us how how we must do, uh, what we must do to be saved. You can join the saints as uh, as the Lord tells us uh, to do, or you can uh, make your own way. Yet remember this: in Luke thirteen twenty four, strive to enter in at the straight gate for many. I say uh, unto you, will uh, uh, seek to enter in and shall not be able. And the reason is because you can't just believe. Believing, it means that you are filled. That's what that meant. Okay? That, uh, that they say, with, uh, have you received since you believed? And see, that's when you're infilled. And a lot of people, they go across, they come out and they, 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 they go part way. And they deny they deny the power thereof, and that's one warning that the Lord says. So many will, uh, you know, uh, uh, profess the Christ, but they'll deny the power of it. And, and if you don't have the infilling, you don't have no power. In Matthew seven fourteen, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leads uh, unto life, and few there be that find it. And that is really sad because they don't follow the scriptures. They take one, take them out, and go here and there with them, and start their own religions, rather than just following the word of God. When He tells you something, He doesn't go off and, and give you other ways to do it. He told you that if you want to enter into the kingdom of God, you must be born of water and of spirit, not believing or anything like that. Okay, although that is God's word. Okay. And when, during the tribulation, that's all they'll have. They'll have the baptism, and that's it. And the spirit will be lifted. And those people will not go to the kingdom. And they will be servants in the house of the Lord. Do you want to be a servant in the house of the Lord? Or do you want to go into the kingdom where your mansion is? It's up to you. So, listen. This is a choice, but only one way to the kingdom of God. In Acts 2.38, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Ask and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Just ask him into your heart and he will come in and fill you. For when you deny the infilling power of Christ, here is what he said. In 2 Timothy 3 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. That's what you're doing when you don't receive the Holy Spirit. From such turn away. Matthew 10 20, uh, 10 33, uh, whosoever shall deny me before men, uh, him shall I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Father, we come to you uh, today for the, for the, for the, for the blinded, for the blinded, uh, those who are, are caught up in uh, in religions, rather than uh, follow following your word, 
uh, written uh, plainly for all to see. For many start their, their own religions taking uh, only part of the scripture, understanding it not. Albeit full, full, fully understanding the word, uh, for, for it was uh, spiritually written, you must uh, have, have the infilling of the spirit uh, to fully uh, have understanding. We ask, Father, that you uh, you open the door, uh, the hearts and minds of uh, of those who read this uh, and listen to it on this video, that they have understanding of your of your word uh, here today. That they need first to repent, then to be baptized in the in the name of Jesus Christ, then worship you in prayer and ask for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Because your heart has to be right. If your heart's not right, he's not going to give it to you until you are, until you actually want it, you seek it. For the baptism of water cleanses the body and takes you out of the curse. And the Spirit gives you power to become sons of God. And Ephesians uh, 1.13 tells you that you're sealed into the kingdom and gives you power uh, from the Father. That same spirit at the at the at the calling away of the saints to the clouds will send you up there. Will send you uh, send us into heaven uh, for for ev uh, forever to be with the Lord uh, in Jesus' name. Let us now take our uh, take all our requests uh, to the Father in Jesus' name. If, uh, let us pray. Now, Father, we come to you now, O oh Lord, for every heart. For every need, O oh God, I just ask, O oh God, that you search their heart and fill them, Lord, with your spirit. So I know you're going to pour out your spirit upon all flesh. Lord, do it now. La cubache cotandi belecandi had a bacola ketibicoke. Conga catenda bacula cotabaco kikis. In Jesus' name. Now remember, Jesus loves you, and I love you. You stay blessed until next time. In Jesus' holy name, blessed be he.